Hey guys, it's Kiki here. Welcome back to my channel, or for those of you who are new, welcome. So today I'm doing something a little different for my channel. I am doing a DIY project. So this was inspired by my birthday request for new Nike trainers, and I really wanted to bedazzle them. I know this seems a little odd, but for anyone who knows me, if sparkles could be a color, that would be my favorite. So today I'm going to be showing you how I bedazzled my Nike swoosh and then I also thought this would be a fun video to include these DIY slides that I made. I wear these around the house and I absolutely love them. So they're just flip flops with this kind of uh, Kylie Jenner inspired fluffy slides. So if you want to see how I made these two fun crafts then please keep watching. All right guys, jumping in, today I am decorating this pair of Nikes. You can use whatever shoes you want, but today I am going to decorate along the swoosh with the gems. So for the gems, I am using these multi-size ones from Amazon. You can also use Swarovski crystals, they're just a lot more expensive. Or you can purchase all of the same size crystal from Amazon as well. For glue today, I am using the handy dandy E6000. You can pick this up at almost any craft store. I think this one was only like $4 at Michael's. Okay, so starting in, I am taking the glue and putting down a small section and then I am using a bobby pin because I couldn't find anything else. And I am just spreading around the glue to thin it out so it's not so gloppy. And then I am taking my tweezers and working with um, the biggest crystals first and I'm going with those around the edge and then taking smaller crystals and working those in between the first ones that I laid down so that it gets them nice and compact. And the reason I like using E6000 glue for this project is because it does not dry down immediately. So you can place a couple down and then wiggle them around a little if you need some flexibility to get all the gems in there. The only downside to that is that you do have to wait several hours for the glue to completely dry, but I would much rather have it this way. It's much easier to work with than hot glue that dries down immediately and doesn't give you time to work. So as I'm working up the tail of the swoosh, I am using smaller and smaller gems to pack them all in tightly. The smaller the gems you use, the more tedious it is, but also the more sparkly it is. So there is some payoff, but it can be extremely tedious with some of these smaller ones. And voila! Look at that baby sparkle. Oh, I just love sparkles. So this is the before with the plain shoe, nothing on it. And then now we have our beautifully bedazzled, super sparkly Nikes. Enjoy walking around in these bad boys. Givenchy, we're coming for your brand. <laughs> totally kidding, but these do look like Givenchy for a fraction of the price. So what you will need is a pair of plain slides. These are from Target. Then I got this fuzzy boa from Amazon. It is six feet and I cut it in half for each shoe. And then last, you need a hot glue gun. This one I already had, but you can pick them up super cheap from a craft store. I think they're like five bucks. And I didn't put it in here, but you also will need a pair of scissors to cut the boa. All right, getting started, I am putting a little bit of glue on the edge there, and then I'm going to stick the boa down. And I'm working in small sections because my glue was actually really thin, so it was drying quickly. Normally I would try to make a strip all the way across the shoe, but it was drying too quickly, so I needed to get it down. And unlike the last project where I wanted the glue to be a little bit more pliable, this is one where I like the glue to work quickly and glue it down so that we don't have the feathers sliding all over the place. It would be a disaster. So now that we're on to the second row, I snake around the boa and then put a little bit more glue. And as I'm putting down the glue, I'm holding back the feathers from the first layer. And this is the same for the third but you want to make sure that you hold back the feathers so that the glue is getting on the plastic of the shoe and not on the other feathers or else it won't stick down. And I keep doing this until I run out of boa at the end. Now you can either trim the sides if you don't want it as poofy, but I'm leaving the sides intact and just cutting off the bottom feathers that would be dragging on the floor so they don't get dirty. 
And there we have it. Look at that beautiful fluffy shoe. Oh, I just love these. All right guys, that is all for my easy DIY crafts. I guess the Nikes were a little tedious, but the fuzzy slides were super easy. So let me know if you end up trying any of these crafts and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for the love of sparkles. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.